Mike, those three cases all share a common thread, a connection to domestic violence. New specialist Andrew Adams talked to an advocate tonight about what we can learn from what seems like a growing problem, Andrew. Well, Dini, the woman I talked to helps domestic violence survivors find shelter and legal help in their cases. She says, yes, some of these cases do seem to be growing more deadly and lack of funding and resources aren't helping problems. I heard bang, 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 and the next thing I know, I see cops coming from every direction. Ogden, a man shot dead by police after they say he refused to stop stabbing a woman. The officer just took the necessary actions to defuse the situation. Murray, SWAT, responds to a man who tried to force his way into his ex-girlfriend's house. Police say he opened fire on them before apparently turning the gun on himself. High-profile cases, all in a single weekend. It seems like there's been a lot of these lately. Yeah. But to advocates... We're not keeping up, unfortunately. It's not so much a shock, but a sad reality. It seems like our cases are getting more and more lethal. Jen Oxborough with the Utah Domestic Violence Coalition says limited funding is meaning help isn't reaching all who need it. And oftentimes that unmet need occurs in families where the lethal violence risk is really high. She cites state data that shows less than 8% of domestic violence survivors had protective orders against the perpetrators. We're not seeing orders of protection happening nearly enough in these really high risk cases. She says it's a problem that's magnified because of stretched resources. Victim advocates, she says, provide a critical buffer. Um, we want people to know that there's always help available, even if it's difficult to find it. Please don't give up and please reach out to us so we can help. Now, these cases raise a lot of questions, like what do we do if we know somebody in a situation like this? I'm told sometimes simply just being discreet and saying, hey, I'm aware, how can I help? That's the first step, and we'll have a lot more information up on our website, KSL.com. Yeah, that Back is to important you. to remember that just simple things like that. Andrew, thank you. Dave? Mm -hmm.